Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon, Basil, Eddie and Sheila ascended some serious mountain passes. There's always one. I know if I was on my bike, riding through beautiful parts of the world, I'd be getting that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. This would be truly stimulating for Lyndon and Eddie's mind and soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah! She's rough! Here we are, in the mountains, with some snow! Let's get wet and muddy, splashing around. Oh, this is our little house for the night. Number seven. <laughs> All right. When you're cold and wet. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. One thing is for sure, when you ride with Lyndon and Basil, your trip will be filled with early starts. A thing the show's editor Mikey would definitely struggle with. Rise and shine. Right then, I suppose best do this. <sighs> it's 5.30. 5.30. Oh man, I hope this thing works. Max, seven, turbo heat, on. Yes! Heat! Oh, I'm looking forward to putting my wet boots on. What's for Becky? Yeah, I've got coffee. There you go. We're up super early, we was up at like 5.30 and uh, we're going to be on the trails by six because at lunchtime today it's forecast really heavy rain uh, so we wanted to get like five six hours in before it starts raining Thirteen thousand feet. Can you imagine working in this place? Hey, eh? oh, let's go upstairs. Yeah, baby. Let's see what's upstairs. There we go. Wow. So, Ed, you've uh, you've been on races to places for a couple of weeks now. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, it's awesome, mate. So, so much bike time and getting to see some awesome places. What now? Now, wrap time. Take the car. Let's go. Let's go. Slow down, you're scaring me. Slow down. Let's hope Basil and his lady Sheila have had some gas for breakfast. They're going to need it for the elevation of these mountain passes. Come on, Ed. I bet there's a few viewers watching this who will be putting Colorado onto their bucket list. The boys 
riding Engineer Pass, which, if you read online, isn't for the faint-hearted, due to its reputation of providing drivers and riders with extreme blizzards and avalanches. Got a cave. Or is it a mine? Is there, is there something in there? Wait, I can hear something. What is it? Is it a bear? Ah oh, no! Ah. It's a posket. There's all sorts of stuff up here, old mining equipment and here we've got like an old boiler that's pretty much still intact. It's really nice to see. To say it was supposed to rain, we've got blue sky and clouds so far. Now, it's on to Black Bear Pass. Let's hope Eddie has packed his bear defence kit. We're on Black Bear Pass, and that is bear poo, I think. Otherwise, some humans had a crap there. Looking for a house with a view? This will take some beating. I had to film this way to get it all in. This is crazy. Look at the house up there and the two waterfalls. It's just an amazing place. Black Bear Pass, Colorado. Brilliant. Today's riding has been unbelievable. It was supposed to rain and it's been so lovely weather. So glad that I was able to get here. And to see things like this is just amazing. Great scenery, great places, completely different to anything that I've seen before. One of my favorite places so far. As you can see from the journey through Colorado so far, the state has had a lot of mining going on over the past few decades. Everything from gold and silver to uranium. So we've just arrived in Telluride. And I don't believe I've been here before. What a beautiful little place. Let's see if we can find somewhere for lunch. I found Ed's. Eddie's behind me now. He went round on the road because he didn't know where I was. He's going to go to the bank. So this is Black Bear Pass in the distance. If you zoom in, you can see the pass weaving all the way up the mountainside. I started up there, all the way in the crevice where the waterfall is, and worked my way all the way down the pass. You can see it weaving down past that building there with the two big waterfalls where I stopped. Did a little piece to camera. Probably one of the most spectacular passes that I've been on on Races to Places. Exploring old mines is always a fascination, like to think what they were like back in the day. Now they're completely destroyed, everything's fallen apart and all the woods rotted and collapsed. But it's just so cool looking around and thinking what this place did look like back in the day. Look at this, it seems like part of an old cooker is left open. This is where the, or an oven or something, this is where the hinges are. Pass, 13,100. Race 
places to places. I love the road just cutting to the side of the mountain. Makes for a really nice ride. awesome but hopefully this just shows you what it's like even though it's peeing down with rain buckle up your seat belts here we go into utah a place famous for its slick rock mountain biking welcome to utah life is now going to be elevated <laughs> looks like eddie and linden have come to a disagreement over the trail route so, only one way to settle it, with a shootout at high noon. We need to sort this out, but I don't have a gun. Eddie has made a quick recovery from the bullet wounds and is back on the trail. Let's hope there are no more disagreements. <laughs> You'll all remember the cartoon Wiley E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. The landscape here looks remarkably similar. So, let's have a bit of information on Utah. One potential derivation of the name Utah comes from the Ute tribe of indigenous peoples, meaning people of the mountains. Or possibly it's from the Apache name, Utai, which means one that is higher up, or those higher up. Apart from its mind-blowing scenery, Utah is also a center of transportation, education, information technology, government services, mining, and outdoor activities. It's not very often that you pull up to a view like that, but it is truly spectacular here. We're on the White Rim Trail, just outside of Moab in Utah, and it really is amazing. Like, you think of everything I've seen on my travels so far, but this is just bonkers. Like, really, really amazing to see, and I'm so glad that I took the time to come and ride out here. Next time on Races to Places, it's onwards to El Paso. <laughs> <laughs>